Hi, welcome to the McGuffey Readers Online Tutor. Today's lesson is from the McGuffey's Eclectic Primer, and we are on Lesson 38, The Quail. Lesson 38, The Quail. If you have this book, you can open up to that lesson. We're going to be looking at the sound of Q U Qu Quail. Quick. Do you hear it? And our words for today are quail, seen, me, eat, no, quick, kill, oh, first, Henry. You can pause this video at any time and try reading these words for yourself. Let's look at some word families. Let's start with seen. Seen has that long E sound followed by the N. Seen, queen, teen. Seen, queen, teen. Let's look at a word that has a short I sound followed by two L's. Ill, kill, bill, fill, hill, will. And let's look at a long I sound, like in child, mild, wild. It's followed by the LD, child, mild, wild. And a short E sound, followed by an N, when, hen, then, men, pen, ten. Look out for the quotation marks that you've just learned. We're going to have it in this lesson also. And other punctuation marks, the period or full stop, comma, semicolon, exclamation mark, and the question mark. Are you ready? Let's start. John, come here. Be quick and tell me what kind of bird this is. John, come here. Be quick and tell me what kind of bird this is. Do you not know, Henry? Do you not know? Henry? Oh, no! What is it? Oh, no! What is it? It is a quail. It is a quail. It is the first quail I have seen. Is it good to eat? It is the first quail I have seen. Is it good to eat? Yes, but I should not like to kill it. Yes, but I should not like to kill it. Let's read that one more time. John, come here. Be quick and tell me what kind of bird 
this is. Do you not know, Henry? Oh no! What is it? It is a quail. It is the first quail I have seen. Is it good to eat? Yes, but I should not like to kill it. Now, can you go back to when I was reading that and see if I made any punctuation errors while reading? Was I supposed to ask a question or pause when I didn't? Try going back and listening to how I read that again and see if I made any mistakes. Well, that's our lesson for today, and I hope you go to the mcguffeyreaders.blogspot.com to get the worksheets that go along with this lesson. And I hope to talk to you soon at the next lesson. Bye-bye for now.